Hello and welcome to episode number 34 of Healthy Knees For You. Today I'm going to show you my five favorite static stretches for your lower body that will help your knees feel good. Stay tuned. I'm Robin Robertson, founder of Healthy Knees Coach and international best-selling author. I figure I was born with a crappy pair of knees so that I could help you avoid the mistakes that I made and benefit from the many successes I achieved in my long and sorted knee history. Fast forward past multiple knee surgeries, ultimately with both knees replaced. Plenty of life experience and study into the latest research for knees, and I'm stronger and healthier than I've ever been. I want to help you get there too. I share these lessons with you that will change your knees and probably change your life to give you the strength, stamina, and stability to get back to doing the things that you love. If you suffer from knee pain or want to avoid it altogether, you are in the right place, friend. Let's get started. A while back, I did a video on dynamic stretching. In fact, that was video number 14. So if you want to know a good warm-up routine for before you exercise, then you want to head over to episode number 14, dynamic stretching. But if you are done with your workout for the day and you want a good cool down stretch series for your lower body, then you are in the right place. All right, one of the things that people often forget to do is stretch and cool down at the end of their exercise time. One of the things that can happen if you are exercising hard and you stop suddenly, you may become actually more sore the next day because you haven't given your body that transition time to go from a state of action and activity to a more resting state. So static stretching helps provide you that transition time and works on flexibility with your muscles. Okay, so if you're interested in stretching, I would also recommend that you check out the foam rolling video. That was episode number 21. And or the last two episodes that I did on trigger point are very specific stretches using the trigger point method for your piriformis that's deep in your bottom and down for your Achilles and your calf. Okay, so let's get to it. I'm going to try to position myself so you see a good angle for each of the stretches. I'm going to do all of one side first and then do all of the other side second. Normally, I would spend 30 seconds or more on each stretch, 30 seconds to two minutes but I'll do it a little briefer just to show you the flow and then you can repeat it and do it slower on your own. All right, and I'll uh, put together a, a static stretch PDF that you can download as well so that you've got the list of the stretches and you don't have to think about it. You can just look at it and then go timing. So look for the link for that in the show notes here. Okay, so let's start with the calf stretch. Step one foot back. Do a soft lunge forward, press your heel down and back. Your weight is more on your forward leg with that heel pressing down and back. Inhale, reach up, same arm as your leg is back. Exhale, side bend, and you can use your free arm to point down at the ground and that will help stabilize you. Exhale all the way as deep as you can stretch. Inhale back to the top. Exhale, bring it down. Next one is our hamstring stretch. So take one step forward, hinge at your hip, slight bend on your standing leg. And I'm working with the right leg here. So I'm going to maintain a nice flat back. My hands are on my thighs, not on my hips. Nose is looking down at my toes. Take a deep inhale, exhale. Now lift up your forward toes and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Come on up. Of course, you'll wanna be holding this for 30 seconds or more. And now we're doing a side leg stretch. So cross your right leg in front of your left. Your feet are side by side. Slide your hands down your legs. 
Clap your hands together at the bottom. Now point and reach your fingers toward the instep of your back foot. So your arms will be crossing in front of your right leg. Deep inhale. Exhale, reach your fingers as deep as you can and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Come on up. Now we'll go to a hip stretch and there's two ways that you might want to do this one. So I'll show you the more advanced move first and then you can go to one with a little more support. So if you can, you'll take your right leg, bend your knee and cross your ankle over your left knee. I like to hang on to my leg because I'm not that flexible this way. And I used to really hate this stretch because I could really feel it out here and in my knee. And now that I've been doing it more frequently and regularly, it feels pretty good and I'm much more flexible. So if this feels good, great. If you want an alternative to that, you can use a chair or a weight bench. I've got a weight bench here. And so I just put my foot up on the weight bench and I'm gonna let it fall to the outside. And, that, and then I'll hinge at my hips because that will drive a little more stretch into the right hip on my right leg doing the stretch. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the other position. Soft bend in my left supporting leg, ankle over knee, deep inhale. Exhale, and as you exhale, try to relax everything. Relax your foot that's dangling, relax your leg, and hold. And of course, you'll wanna hold this for 30 seconds or more, and release. And going into the last stretch, the quad stretch, lots of ways to do this. Uh, my knees don't bend quite far enough for me to just be able to grab my ankle and lift up, so I like to use a towel. You'll use the same hand as the leg, so right hand, right leg. Wrap the towel around your ankle and come on up to standing. Press your hips forward, shoulders back, eyes up on the horizon. Deep inhale, and if you want, <laughs> you can lift up with your free arm, inhale. As you exhale, lift a little more each time with your ankle coming up behind, so you really feel that stretch in the front of your leg, stretching your quads here. Inhale, you can release a little. Exhale, lift up higher. For three, two, one. And there you have it, it's such a great flow. Five static stretches that work the whole lower kinetic chain. And I'll just show you again on the other side. If you wanna do it with me, join on in. Step your left leg back, right leg forward, soft lunge forward, inhale, reach up. Exhale, side bend, driving your free arm down to the floor, as big a side bend as you can. Inhale back to the top. Exhale, bring it down. Swing that back leg forward, hinge at your hips. Flat back is the key. You should feel the stretch all in your hamstring. Deep inhale, exhale, lift your toes up. You'll feel this in the back of your knee and your calves and hold for five, four, three, two, one. And release, cross your left leg in front of your right. Slide your hands down your leg, clap your hands together. Reach toward the instep of your back foot. Deep inhale, exhale, reach those fingers deeper and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Come on up, bring your ankle right up to your knee or use the chair if you like. Okay, deep inhale, exhale, relax your foot, relax your leg. Let that knee fall out to the outside, stretching through your hip and hold for three, two, one. Wow, it was really wobbly on that side today. And now your quad stretch. If the towel doesn't work for you and you need a little more support, you could put your foot on the bench or the chair. So you go ahead and lift that leg up. I'll do it that way this time. And I'm gonna squat down a little bit to deepen that stretch so I really feel it on the front of my leg. 
and let's take a deep inhale reach up exhale lift a little higher inhale exhale lift a little higher for three two one and there you have it that's such a great sequence of stretches look for the link for the download and you'll be able to print that out so you've got it you will learn it and you'll be able to do it every time you finish exercising and your lower body and your knees are going to thank you thanks so much for tuning in if you like this video please hit like below and i encourage you to subscribe to the channel that way it lets me get you the information the very first You'll know about it and you'll help support this channel so that I can keep bringing you more and more information that's going to help your knees every day. All right, see you next week on Thursday. I look forward to our time together then. Bye for now.